master's student. And uh, his topic is, what's your topic? Cat identification using face recognition. <laughs> No. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's part of the community. For Taiwan, which is an island country beside China. Cool. I'm going to present the topic of cat identification using. Okay, cat is one most rare pet worldwide, and according to the American Pet Products Association, we can see that the population of the domestic cat was 95.6 million in America, and keep increasing. However, uh, American Society for the Pre Prevention of had done a study between 2012 and 2016 in America, which is conduct, connected with the 1,000 pet owners. And the report indicated that 15% of owners. So, losing of cat, missing of cat has become a problem, but how can we get our missing cat back? Okay, conventionally, impact membership is the most common method to identify the cat. The, uh, the animal shelter identify the cats and transfer to owners by the information in the microchip is reliable, but uh, it is invasive and uh, it requires the additional cost. Yeah, and uh, mostly because it is invasive, so it may cause a healthy problem to the animals. <laughs> Hence, uh, a non-invasive method and a low-cost method to identify a cat is demanded. So, I propose the method of face recognition to identify the cat. Uh, the face recognition has the following advantages. Firstly, it is non invasive. There's no, uh, there won't be any health concern. And secondly, it is low cost. Uh, we don't need any material. So, here's my objectives to collect the images of cats and to detect the cat face and facial parts automatically using deep learning and to align the cat face and to quantify the facial image features using item face, and finally, to identify the individual cat using SVMS. Okay, so let's take a look at the step one, image acquisition. I acquired the 2,308 cat images from 238 different cats, um, mostly from the animal shelters, and using the cell phone, the smartphone, and sometimes the digital cameras. And for each cat, 10 images were acquired at various angles. And the median resolution of the images was 960 by 720 pixels. Okay, this is the example of 10 images uh, at the various angles. Okay, the next step is face detection and official pass localization. I use a, uh, I use a deep learning method, which is best our CMM, to detect the cat face and facial pass. And the reason why I use fast here is that the fast here has the following advantages. First, it's an object detection method, and it has a high speed and a high accuracy of detection. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. And this is the fast oxygen architecture. Firstly, uh, when the image goes in, uh, the best CNN, which is ZFNet, generates the feature maps. And secondly, the region proposal network, RPM, <coughs> generates the ROIS using the feature maps from the base CNN. Okay, and, uh, and lastly, the object classifier classifies the object in the image and generates the, the coordinate of the bounding box using the OIS from RPM. Okay.
I have two models of vessels here. I detect the cat face in cat image using model one. And then I crop the face area and I localize the facial parts in the crop cat face images using model two. So I have two models of fast RC in them. And here's the training detail of fast RC in them. Uh, for model one, there are 630 training, uh, there are 630 cat images for training and 200 can can images for validation. And for model two, okay, for model two, there are 630 crop cat images for training and 210 crop cat face image for validation. And all of the images were normalized to the 1,000 by 600 pixels. And my GPU is NVIDIA GeForce GTX. 1,080. And uh, I used the uh, 20 cat image and 20 face image to evaluate the performance using the ROC analysis. We can see that the accuracy of the face detection is 100%. And the accuracy of the eyes detection is 96.8%. And the, no the accuracy of nose detection is 94%. And the accuracy of the mouth detection is 96%. And here are some uh, cases of successful detection. We can see in face detection, model one can detect a cat face uh, in the back, in a black area, in a black images, and in the bird images, okay, successfully. And uh, we can say in facial parts localization, the model two can detect the facial parts on the black cat face, and uh, some eyes is uh, open, open and completed, and the model two can detect it successfully too. Okay. And here are some cases of failed detection. In some cases, um, the area which is similar to the facial parts, you can see here, which is similar to the facial parts, is detected as a facial parts uh, falsely. And in some cases, the mouth were not detected because the fur around the mouth is white and uh, it makes the mouth uh, it makes the mouth contour unobvious so we can detect it. Okay. So let's go to the next thing. The next thing is face alignment. Uh, cat have very various posture when their images were acquired. So uh, in, in the alignments as of uh, facial image were identified using the model two and the facial image were next rotated at the center of the image to make the line connecting the eyes level the horizontal of the images. So, and next step is the feature quantification. Uh, the area of right eye, left eye, nose, mouth were detected using the model two. Okay. And uh, suppose the two suppose the distance between the two eyes is four minus k. The forehead area is defined as the region above uh, k, k pixel, k above the eyes with an uh, area of 4k minus 4k by 1k. So uh, all of these facial parts, these five facial parts were crowded and uh, normalized as a, as, a fa as a feature patches. Okay, so next there is a feature representation. Um, we apply the album face on these five feature patches. And uh, in the original images, it is HSV color. So we convert it into a free grayscale color. Okay. And uh, the top, the, the principal components of the top 20 eigenvalues was defined as the eigenfaces. And each, each feature patches could be the linear combination of these 20 eigenfaces. So now we get the, this, so these two, these 20 coefficients of linear combination will be a new features. Okay, the next step is the uh, identification. I use, uh, I, I identify the cat using support vector machine. And uh, I evaluate the performance of this uh, SEVMS using the 6-4 cross validation. 
Okay, so uh, there are there are 238 different cats and six images for each cat and for the six fold validation. And the, the facial parts were copied manually for the failed cases. The facial parts were less compared to the face features. And my strategy to identify the cats is like this: it's a voting. Uh, when the image when the cat image comes in and the, its face area and the facial part area will be will be detected uh, using the model one and model two. And these five uh, and each facial part <coughs> has a corresponding uh, SBNS. And uh, it will give a score of 40. Like this. This is the right eye. Okay. The right eye. And uh, it has the score of 258 cats. The highest score, <coughs> like, like these examples, the highest score is on the uh, cat number 237. So uh, it classified as uh, cat, cat number 237. And so on. Each facial parts, each, each facial patches can give a result. But uh, at last, I combine these five, five results to be a combined result. So in the final result, it is classified as uh, cat number one, and it is the uh, correctly classified. So here's my result of cat identification. <clears throat> if we only use the right eye to classify the, the cats, the 238 cats, I have an accuracy of the 77.9. And we can see, uh, if we only use the left eye to classify the cats, we have an accuracy of 17.2. And we, we on, if we only use nose to classify a cat, we have an accuracy of 71.66. And we only, if we only use the mouth to classify a cat, we have an accuracy of 61.9. Okay. So if we combine these five feature, facial parts, these five uh, feature patches, we can get a high accuracy of 93.1 percentage. Okay. Uh, we combine these five facial parts to classify the cats. And in order to know the, uh, if there is the redundant facial parts in these five facial parts, I only use the five facial parts to classify the cats in turn. So we can see that uh, without right eye, if without right eye, I get an accuracy of 91.2. And without that eye, I get an accuracy of 91.7. Without nose, and without mouth, and without forehead. And we can see that the mouth is the most redundant uh, features. OK, uh, here are some successful identification uh, samples. Uh, anyone can tell me uh, in this picture which cat I'll stand. One. Okay, actually, they are all different. And my methods uh, can distinguish them successfully. And this is some failed identification methods. Uh, it's happened, always happened on the black cat. Because uh, I think it is because there is no too much difference between black cat because they are all black. So it is very hard to uh, identify them. Oh, here's my conclusion. The cat face and facial features were automatically detected. The accuracy of detect were respectively face 100%, eyes 96.8%, nose 94%, and mouth 96%. 239 different cats were successfully identified using the SPNS. The accuracy of identification were respectively right eye 77.9%, left eye 77.2%, nose 71.6%, mouth 71.9%, and forehead 72.6%. The combination of left eye, right eye, nose, mouth, and forehead features will be used to identify the 238 cats and reach the accuracy of 93.1%. Thank you for your presentation. Yes, please. So, what are your next step? Okay, this is a very good question. Uh, my next step is uh, because I and the facial parts using the different method. Yeah, but my um, my identification, my classification, um, image processing method. So um, my next step is to uh, replace the. Actually, the lady asking how.
how do you implement your algorithm in like stuff to ammo shoulders or places like that? How do I implement? Yeah. yeah. What's your plan for that? Okay, uh, in the animal shoulder, now they use the microchip to uh, identify is, um, because uh, I identified the cats on my own computers. I didn't put this on the small device. Maybe this small device can uh, get into the animal shoulders. So my next step is uh, try this if it works, and we can put this device into the animal shoulders. Yes, please. Why well, use the left eyes and right eyes? There's a difference. There's a difference between the eyes. Oh. Okay. Because um. Because um. Let's see this cat. We can see. Uh, its two eyes are different. Yeah. So. Is there a difference in accuracy between the two eyes? Yeah, I know. Because, I think, uh, because, every, <laughs> because every eyes in each cat, I think it has uh, different features. Yeah, so because it has different features, so uh, it may cause the difference accuracy. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Sting. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 How do I decide? I use the geometric, uh, geometric feature. Yeah. Because um, like wait a minute. I can know in. I can detect the eyes, uh, position using model two, right? So I have two eyes on the box. Yeah. I have two co uh, I have two coordinate and the uh, the left the left coordinate is the left eye and the right coordinate is the right eye. I use the geometric geometric. Uh, no, right. yeah. What I'm uh, saying is features for the left eye and right eye. Yeah. Right? Is same. I think they are not the same. Here have the table of your accuracy. Okay, I think they are not the same. They are not the same. The lady is asking why they are not the same, since their features are similar. Yes. <clears throat> oh, you said, okay. Their features are similar, uh, is quite similar, but uh, we can see in some examples. They are similar, but not, uh, not all the same. Yeah, there's still some little difference between these two eyes. So uh, the accuracy of this visual part is different. Yeah, yeah actually very close. Okay, Sorry. any more question? So you can combine the right eye and the left eye as a, a one part of the visual part to detect the accuracy. Oh, is it combine these two? Yeah. Um, like this, I have to try. Uh, I have to try, uh, try to find what uh, what features is redundant. So, uh, like this, 